Last year we were at Troy Shirley's yard where we took a look at his pond. Today we're going to talk about some unwanted and wanted guests. Troy, what are we talking about? Well, wanted guests would be birds, uh, you know, animals you like. Three things you need to attract wildlife in your yard. You need food, you need shelter, you need water. Obviously the pond is a huge draw. Yep. Food, uh, let me show you some bird seed. That sure. Is the right and the wrong kind. Let's take a look. So when I think of wanted guests, I think of songbirds. And most people, they go to the store and they get the cheapest bird seed they can find. And uh, what actually will happen is you'll attract the wrong birds. What you want to do is sunflower seeds. It attracts all the good ones and none of the bad ones, like house sparrows really like it. So along with food, you probably also need shelter. And you've got a lot of natural shelter as well as like handmade type ones. Absolutely. So your junipers, your evergreens, they're great for songbirds, robins to hide in, shelter from other predators. And then we also have nest boxes that I put up around the yard that will also attract your really good birds. And I can't help but notice you leave a fair amount of like dead plant material. Is of that course where they, you notice they, that. They can perch there? They Is do that... like some of that. <laughs> so some of the unwanted guests in our yards are the insects, rabbits, voles, but it's all part of drawing wildlife into our yards. We appreciate your time, Troy. Absolutely. We'll see you next time on Plant Talk.